Okay, the last thing you're going to do on your visit here into the clinic after the adjustment is your head weighting. This is both a rehabilitation and a neuromuscular re-education. This will help cement that adjustment into place and make sure that your adjustments are building on each other. So if you come have a look here, the head weights have pouches and in those pouches are little weights. So what you'll want to do is make sure, according to your home care instructions, that you get a head weight that has the right amount of weights for you. Usually that's either going to be one and one or two and two in these middle pouches here. So this one's got two and two, and that would be a two and two head weight. If you're good, you can kind of just feel them in there without having to open it. But you want to make sure that you've got the right weights for you. And then Amanda here will show you how to put them on. So she's using one and one. She's, that's the right weights for her. She's going to close that up. She's going to use her face paper. She's going to put that there uh, in front of the forehead. The weights are going to be centered on her forehead, just above the eyebrows. So you don't want them too far up on the forehead or down over the eyes. So the weights themselves are just above the eyebrows. And then what she's going to do is a march. So that means opposite arm and leg. Right arm is going to raise up to where the elbow is at the height of the shoulder, and then the left knee is going to raise up to the waist. There you go. She's doing it on heels even. <laughs> um, and then you'll switch, right? So then the other arm and knee come up, just like so. This is not cardiovascular exercise, so don't worry about doing it quickly. The important part is to do it correctly. Now, she's looking straight ahead. There's a clock up on the wall if you need. She's going to start with about two minutes and work her way up to about four minutes or so. Uh, you'll do yours according to your instructions. If at any time the weight starts to feel heavy or if your neck falls, so if, for example, turn sideways here, if that weight gets heavy and her head starts to fall forward, then go ahead and take the weights off. You're done for the day with the head weights. Or if her neck buckles underneath to try and hold that weight to more over her spine, same thing, you're done for the day. Uh, at that point, your neck is exhausted. You should be able to essentially hold your neck in a, just like normal without really feeling that weight there. Uh, the other things that people do that are wrong, if you turn back to the camera for me, um, they'll do just, instead of uh, bringing the uh, elbow and the knee up to the correct height, they'll just kind of swing the lower limbs. So do like a, a half more, there we go. So this right here is not getting the full benefit we are doing that range of motion because of the neurologic stimulation that it's creating. Um, and so just kind of waving those is, is um, kind of cheating yourself out of the uh, benefits there. Those are the main ones. The other big thing that you want to watch out for is doing the same side arm and leg. Um, and sometimes it's easy if you're not used to this or if you're just not thinking about it to raise up the right arm and the right leg at the same time and then do the opposite. So this right here is actually programming wrong. We want to make sure that they are opposite. There we go. And if you need, again, like I said, to go slowly, that's perfectly fine. We just want to make sure you're doing it properly. Once the time is up, you can go ahead and take the head weights off, put them right back on the shelf. At this point, you're done, so you can take your head paper and throw it away, or the face paper and throw it away, and uh, just say goodbye on the way out, and we'll see you next time.